We're now up to the 24th and final part of this series where we're building a quiz application using AngularJS. And in this video, we're just tidying things up and creating that big button that's going to take the user from the results page back to the facts page. So we'll go into our HTML and just below the well, we'll create a button and we'll give the button some classes. We'll give it the class of button and button primary just to give it that blue color and we'll make a button LG which makes it a large button and then we'll make an NG click and then on the click we want to trigger a function and we'll call it reset and that will simply just reset everything in the, the quiz and then we'll just write the text go back to facts now come into our results controller and we'll create that reset function so vm.reset equals reset and come down to the bottom and we'll create a function called reset and then in here we want to change the state of the results to false again so that was on our quiz metrics dot change state and we'll pass in results and false. We also want to set the num correct flag or the num correct property to zero. And that's because if the user goes back to the facts and they want to restart the quiz, when they get to the end of the quiz, we want this num correct to be the new number of answers they've got correct the second time they did the quiz, not the old number. So we'll just reset it to zero just to be safe. And now we want to loop through all the questions in our JSON and set the selected flag back to its default state of null, set the correct flag back to its default state of null, and then we are done. So we'll create our four var i equals zero and i is less than data service dot quiz questions dot length i plus plus and then in here we will make a variable we'll call it data and we'll set that equal to data service dot quiz questions and then I just so that we don't have to keep repeating that line of code because we're going to type it out again so then we can say data dot selected equals null and data dot correct equals null. So that's going to loop through all of the questions in our JSON and just set the selected and correct flags back to their default. Now we'll head into the browser, back to our now finished product. We'll hit start quiz and we'll go through and select some answers. Yes, I am sure. And I got 80%. And we've got this big button down here. And we can flick through all of these to see which ones I got wrong. And what I got right. And then go back to facts. And we're back at our list controller. If we scroll down, there's nothing else displaying. And we can start the quiz again. And there we go. The application is complete. So there you are, you've finished. You've built your first application with AngularJS. We've spent a lot of time together building this application and I hope you've really learned something and you've seen just how powerful Angular can really be if you're using it correctly. So until the next course that I do, I hope that you're continuing to learn and you're improving and becoming a better developer. 
But until next time, stay hungry and keep coding. Once again, I just want to thank you for completing this series. And I hope that you've learned something and that you can take something away from this and be a better developer for it. So if you haven't already checked out my website, I do a lot of content over there as well as here on YouTube. So go over there and check that out now. And if you did enjoy this series, I would really appreciate you hitting the subscribe button and get updates for every video that I do. And until next time, see you soon.